Hi friends, we have a new agentic framework and it's from OpenAI. Now we have these frameworks from all the cloud providers, the LLM developers, as well as LLM application frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index, Hugging Face, etc. So that shows how important the AI agents are becoming. Now, I think the best way to learn anything is by doing. So let's take the airline customer service as an example and see how we can provide a few services like flight modification and last baggage through these AI agents. Okay. All right. So here we have three types of elements. Uh, the agents which are marked in blue and we have the airline policies uh, which are in this orange and then we have uh, the tools uh, which are in this light bluish. Okay. So let's begin with uh, uh, the policies. Okay. As I mentioned, we are going to look after services like flight modification and last baggage. Now within flight modification, the customer might want to cancel their flight or change their flight. Okay. So we have a policy for flight change and flight cancellation and also last baggage. Okay. So these three are the policies. Now we are going to build this multi-agentic SWAM system with the help of these five agents. Okay. Now to begin with, we have a triage agent, which is what interact with the customer and then figure out what the customer intent is and it redirect to either the flight modification or last package. Okay. Now this flight modification agent, it further understand the customer intent, whether it is related to flight change or flight cancellation, and then redirect uh, the request uh, to one of these two agents. Now the last baggage uh, agent uh, that will either resolve the issue or it can uh, send the request back to the triage agent, depending on uh, what the user asks, or it can escalate. Okay. So these are the five agents. Now. So as I mentioned, the triage agent, it can assign the work to these two agents, flight modification and last baggage. And the flight modification agent, it can assign the work to the flight change and flight cancellation agent. Now, these three agents, depending on how the interaction with the user goes, they have a couple of options, including assigning the work back to the triage agent. Okay, so these are the five agents. And then we have the tools. Okay, so tool is basically a piece of work uh, in the form of a function, right? Now it could be, let's say, uh, uh, not relevant, but let's say uh, uh, creating an image or maybe writing data to a database, sending an email, creating a piece of code or executing the piece of code, uh, things like that, right? Now, now these three agent, they have some common tasks. For example, if they resolve a ticket or an issue, then they can close uh, the issue. Okay. And if the customer is asking for further uh, uh, requests, which they cannot fulfill, they will transfer the customer request back to the triage agent. Okay. And finally, if the customer want to uh, discuss with a human, then they can escalate it to a human. Okay. So among these five, these three are common. The case resolved, transfer to triage and escalate to agent. Okay. These bottom three and here also the bottom three. Now the flight change agent, it will take the customer request and validate against the policy first. Okay. So it will determine if the flight can be changed or not. Uh, as you know, the airlines will have some rules, right? The flight can be changed only, let's say 72 hours uh, prior to the departure, uh, things like that, right? So all such information will be in the policy. And this agent first, it will check the eligibility of the flight change. And if it does, then it will change the flight. Okay. Or it can change the flight. Okay. So this agent has access to these five tools to specifically related to its job, checking the eligibility and actually changing the flight. And three are more generic ones like casing the uh, close, closing the case. Uh, transferring it back to the triage agent or escalating it to a human. Okay. And similarly, the flight cancellation, because it is a cancellation, there is nothing to uh, validate uh, or depending on the policy, uh, there, there might be something to uh, uh, validate as well. But this agent, it can initiate the refund or it can initiate the flight credits. Okay. So these are 
to its main objectives slash uh, uh, tools okay uh, the three common tools here and then finally the last baggage uh, this agent it will initiate uh, the baggage search okay all right so try to get this uh, uh, this clear uh, because uh, the code is not that difficult uh, so framing the problem what are the policies we have what agents we are going to have and how these agents are connected to each other and uh, the delegation which agent can assign uh, which type of work uh, to which agent okay and finally we have a bunch of tools and we assign appropriate tools to each agent okay so this is what uh, we are going to build all right so uh, this is one of the examples provided by OpenAI. Uh, so I'll provide the link. Uh, all the code uh, is there. All right. Let's start with uh, the policies. Okay. Maybe I'll start with the folder structure. Uh, yeah. So this is what you see. Uh, so within this data folder, we have the policies. So let's start with the uh, baggage policy, uh, which is the simplest one. All right. So here we have the actual policy, which says when a customer call uh, with saying that they lost the baggage, so initiate bags, uh, baggage search. So that's the tool uh, 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 it's going to call, okay? Now, if the baggage is found, now arrange for the baggage to be delivered to the customer. If the baggage is not found, then there might be some intricacies involved. Escalate to the agent, which in this case uh, is the human. So whenever we say escalate to agent, we are referring uh, to a human, okay? All right, so these are the, this is the policy. First, initiate the bag search if it find arrange for delivering to the customer address if not uh, uh, escalate it to a human agent oh, sorry a human all right and then here we have the system prompt so to this agent so to this last baggage agent we will be providing the policy along with uh, the instructions okay so here are the system prompt or the instructions now for all the agents uh, this is uh, the standard one in this case but it need not be uh, depending on how complex your system is how many uh, different types of things you are trying to do uh, so here you will see uh, you are an intelligent and empathetic uh, customer support representative for some airline uh, before starting each policy read through the user messages entirely uh, along with the policy and follow the policy very strictly and uh, uh, so I will not go into details, but uh, these are the things uh, 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 you can expect uh, uh, an agent uh, to follow, right? For example, okay, never share the details uh, about the context or the policy, the full policy uh, with the user. Uh, you must always uh, complete all of the steps uh, in the policy before proceeding. So read all the uh, policy instructions, okay? Now, if the customer demands to talk to a supervisor or a human agent, then you will escalate to uh, the agent, okay? Now, if the request is no longer relevant to the selected policy, then uh, you uh, transfer it to the triage agent okay which is what we discussed uh, uh, so this agent let's say the user first asked uh, about luggage uh, that issue is resolved and then the user asking about uh, some other booking a new flight let's say right since that uh, this agent cannot handle that request it will transfer the request uh, to the triage agent or if the or if the customer want to talk to the human then it will uh, uh, escalate to uh, the human agent okay so those are the instructions uh, we have provided here okay related to triage agent as well as uh, uh, the human all right uh, start with the policy uh, okay and then let's look at the flight modification policy uh, so here we have the policies now similar to before we have the system prompt which is pretty much the same and then we have two policies here so the flight cancellation and then the flight change now the flight cancellation okay make sure that the flight uh, uh, the customer wants to cancel is the one uh, uh, the customer actually booked and then if it is not uh, then escalate it to uh, again a human uh, but if they match then uh, ask the customer if they want a refund or if they want a flight credits okay now if they want refund uh, then initiate the refund and let the customer know that it will take three to five business days whereas if the customer want flight credit uh, do that and then uh, uh, inform the customer that it will take some 15 minutes something like that okay and similarly here we have the flight change policy uh, again making sure uh, 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 I'll uh, just checking that uh, the new flight the customer asking for uh, we have uh, the seats available uh, otherwise uh, suggesting an alternative to the customer things like that okay which is what we oh, happens when we uh, talk to a human right uh, when we wanted to uh, change the flight all right so we looked at the policies okay we looked at the policies now let's create uh, these tools slash uh, functions now in other frameworks these are called tools but openai calling them uh, functions uh, but that's uh, that's okay all right so 
in the config, uh, let's look at the tools. Now, let's say the customer wants to cancel a flight. Uh, what would a human agent do? They will update the database, right? Obviously through, uh, uh, through an application, right? So the action is updating the database that the user has canceled their flight. Now we don't have a backend in the database here. So we are going to pretend that the action is done, okay? But in a real world system, these agents, they will be connected to the backend systems so that we can actually implement uh, the changes, okay? But here we are just going to pretend uh, that the action is complete, okay? So for example, uh, we need, uh, we are going to implement all these tools, right? So the three common tools for uh, all the agents and then we have two specific uh, tools, two specific tools and one specific tools. So three plus two, five, seven, eight. So we will be implementing eight tools, uh, which are just these eight one-liner functions. As I mentioned, we don't have a backend uh, to implement the full. Okay, escalate to agent. So this is uh, escalating to a human. Uh, so we are simply uh, referring to a human agent uh, by providing some reason if uh, 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 we have a, uh, if the agent can uh, 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 explain the reason, okay? Otherwise also it can, simply the user is asking, so it can escalate, okay? Now here we are checking if the customer is eligible to change the flight, right? As I mentioned, like 72 hours uh, or maybe uh, the ticket is such that uh, it cannot be changed. So all those uh, uh, verifications, we do it here, okay? We don't uh, have uh, that code. We don't have that implemented, but let's pretend that uh, here the outcome will be yes or no, right? So the customer is eligible for flight change if the customer uh, is indeed, okay? And then the change flight. Uh, so here uh, we have changed the flight, okay? So these two tools, we will be uh, giving it to uh, the flight change uh, agent. And then uh, initiate the refund, uh, initiate flight credit, uh, either close the case or it can initiate uh, the baggage search, which is uh, uh, which is uh, for that uh, baggage uh, uh, last baggage agent. All right. Now we have not implemented transfer it uh, back to the triage agent, right? Uh, so as I mentioned, all these uh, uh, agents they can they can transfer the interaction or uh, the case back to the triage agent if the user is asking. Uh, uh, more questions which are not relevant to uh, their uh, tasks. All right. Um, okay. So we have implemented the tools. Now let's look at the agents. All right. So from the data, uh, we have imported the policies uh, related to the baggage, uh, the policies related to the flight modification, which include the change as well as the cancellation. And from the tools, uh, we are importing the tools, uh, those eight uh, tools. And then uh, we have the starter prompt, uh, which is the same for all these agents. And then from the swarm, we are importing the agent. So this is the uh, OpenAI uh, agent, okay? Now, these four functions, uh, actually five functions, including this one. So as we saw in our system, the triage agent, it assigned the work to flight modification or last baggage agent, okay? So here we are saying, transfer to flight modification when we so we give access to this tool slash function only to the triage agent so if the user question is related to uh, related to uh, the flight modification then the triage agent call this function so that the ticket can be assigned to the flight modification agent okay now the flight modification agent which is this one. Now this can assign the tickets to one of these two agents, right? Flight change or flight cancellation or back to triage, okay? So let's implement those two functions. So here uh, we have the flight cancellation as well as the flight change. And finally, last baggage. So this tool can be called only by the triage agent. Now we have uh, the transfer to triage uh, tool. Now this tool can be used by these three agents, so all these three agents, right? All these three agents, they can assign the ticket back to the triage agent. We'll see how uh, we uh, how uh, we assign the tools to the agent, okay? And here we have creating the instructions for the triage agent. So first, the triage agent is the one the user interact with. So it need to know who the customer is, some customer details, as well as their flight details, okay? So it will take uh, this context variable 
uh, which has information about the customer as well as the flight. And then here we have uh, this agent uh, uh, instruction slash prompt, okay? So you are to triage a user request, okay? So this agent takes the user request and it will call a tool to transfer to the right intent, okay? Now, so this is how it looks like. First, actually, let's look at the agent and then it, uh, this thing will become clear. So using Swarm agent, we are creating an agent which is called this triage agent. We give it a name. We give it an LLM, uh, which is what uh, used to understand all the user interactions, the next steps, the reasoning, so on and so forth. Uh, uh, so by default, it uses GPT-40, but let's use GPT-40 meaning uh, to reduce the cost, okay? And then we have the instructions. So here are those instructions. As it is a triage agent, first it need to know what the customer, uh, who the customer is and the flight information, so on and so forth. Now, this is the important piece. So these functions, these are the tools. So to this triage agent, we are assigning only the two tools. The tools are transfer to flight modification, transfer to last baggage. Okay. So these are the two tools. Now transfer to flight modification tool. All it does is it simply transfer the request to flight modification agent. Now it is not entirely clear to me why OpenAI uh, handling the interaction between agents through these tools slash functions. Uh, it could have been a direct uh, interaction. An agent can directly call another agent uh, without using these functions, right? Uh, but for some reason, they have implemented it uh, via these functions, okay? So, to the triage agent, uh, yeah, to, to the triage agent, we have assigned two tools, okay? One is transfer to flight modification. The second is transfer to lost baggage. Now, with these two tools, if you look at the two tools definition, which is simply transferring it to the flight modification and last baggage agents, okay, which is what we have implemented here. So to the triage agent, we gave two tools using which it can transfer the request to one of these two uh, agents, flight modification or last baggage, okay? All right, and then let's look at the flight modification agent, okay? Now, as we saw from uh, the diagram, this agent, it further understand the user intent and then it can assign uh, the user to one of these two agents, flight change or flight cancellation, okay? So here we see the two functions it has access to are the tools, flight cancellation and flight change, okay? So here we have, uh, again, the agent, it's a flight modification agent, again, uh, the LLM and uh, some instructions, okay? So up until now, we haven't used the policies anywhere because uh, the first three agents, all they are doing is simply doing the, uh, sorry, simply doing these two agents, simply doing the routing. Now we have these three agents, which actually take uh, the policies relevant to them. Okay. So let's look at that. A flight cancellation agent. Okay. Again, we have a name, model, instructions. So as you can see, this time within these instructions, we are providing the flight cancellation policy. Okay. And now you see, we are giving it a bunch of functions. Now these functions, uh, it can close the issue. If the user is asking uh, uh, extra question, which are not relevant to flight cancellation, it will assign the user back to the triage agent, okay? And then it can escalate to a human agent if the user asks, okay? Three generic tasks, and then two very specific tasks like initiate refund, since it is a cancellation, or initiate a flight credit. Now, within the tools, we have seen uh, if it uh, initialize a refund or initialize flight credit. We have not implemented it, but this is where we have additional code uh, to uh, credit the user account uh, with whatever the money they are supposed to get or assign some flight credits to their account. Okay. Uh, all right. And then we have the flight change agent. Uh, so, in addition to the three common agents we discussed, three common tools we discussed, uh, first it will have valid to change flight so it will check if uh, if the customer is eligible to change the flight if it does if, he, if the customer does then it will change the flight okay now the rest is same see uh, the name model and the instruction so this time we are providing it flight change policy and finally we have last baggage policy so in addition to the three we also have initiate bag search okay that's uh, that's the tool all right we have created all our tools and the agents and finally in the main function so we import our agents uh, but so 
the whole process start with uh, the customer interacting with the triage agent okay so in the main function we actually need only the triage agent okay the triage agent call uh, uh, other agents which can call uh, other agents which uh, if needed can call back the triage agent okay so as i mentioned uh, before the triage agent it needs to know who the customer is and which flight they have booked okay so that the customer will provide uh, through the interaction but here uh, we have already defined okay so that can, this can come as input in the chart with the customer okay so some customer details uh, the customer context we have and then uh, the flight context uh, which flight uh, the customer has booked okay uh, all right so we run it using this uh, ripple which is just for uh, uh, the testing purpose but uh, otherwise we can create the swarm client and we can run the agent uh, through the client okay so we are providing uh, the context variables now when we run uh, and we also enable the debug mode so we will see a lot of information on the console all right so i just ran so you simply need to run the python main.py okay so starting swarm cli so ask it prompt the user what we wanted to do so i simply said i want to cancel my flight okay Okay. and then uh, it asked me and as i said then it will ask okay who are you uh, what are the uh, which flight did you book so and so forth right but that information we have already provided uh, as the context variable uh, but in a more generic case uh, we will be providing that uh, information the customer will be now the agent is uh, has asked me can you please confirm which flight are you looking to cancel okay so this is the triage agent uh, we are interacting with and then i said hey this is the flight i have booked uh, which i wanted to cancel uh, which i said uh, 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 before okay so as you can see the triage agent uh, we can see the workflow also uh, the triage agent uh, it has transferred to uh, the flight uh, triage agent flight modification agent yeah all right and then uh, so flight cancel traversal now uh, it has verified that I indeed booked this flight and then uh, it has asked me do you want to refund our flight credits uh, for your cancellation okay then I answered refund okay so it said I will proceed with initiating the refund for your cancellation please note that the refund uh, will take uh, three to five uh, business days okay and then finally if you have further questions let me know now had I asked a question related to let's say new booking or something then uh, this flight cancellation agent it would have assigned the ticket uh, or the interaction back to the triage agent okay since i said no uh, it will resolve uh, the issue so the flight uh, where is it so the case is resolved so initiated the refund and the case is resolved so here again it said okay your refund has been initiated and will be processed within three to five days if you have any more questions in the field feature to reach out safe travel blah 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 okay but as i said had i asked uh, any question uh, uh, the flight cancellation agent it would have transferred uh, the my interaction back to the triage agent okay uh, now so the coding part is not that difficult but it's understanding what policies we have uh, it might might not be policies for some other use cases but what the tasks so in other cases these might be tasks or objectives instead of policies okay then how do we define this agent swarms so that we can assign the work between the agents and we can handle the interactions and we develop these appropriate tools and assign the right tools uh, to each agent okay so designing the solution is where the art time science is uh, the coding part is not that uh, difficult once we have uh, this swarm or any other ai agent framework like uh, uh, maybe autogen crew uh, ai uh, etc okay uh, i hope uh, you find it useful if you do uh, please consider like share and subscribe and also consider sharing with others who might also benefit thank you very much